All right, cold prey. Not cold play, cold prey. This one is... It combines two different elements. You've got the middle of nowhere aspect, and then you have a near unstoppable serial killer sort of character. People go out for some snowboarding and some skiing. One of them falls, breaks his leg. Like, this is a sick break. Like, when they show it, you're seeing Marrow. He... He's pretty much toast. They're like, well, we can't make it back. But they happen to find pretty much an old rundown hotel. Seems kind of weird to find in the middle of nowhere, but we'll roll with it. Then, of course, comes the background of what happened to the hotel, what happened to the area, and how some little boy supposedly died and, and or went missing. Then they get picked off one by one by a giant guy wielding essentially an ice pick. So there's your movie. You've got one guy who's handicapped, they're in the middle of nowhere, snow, so they really can't leave, at least during the night. Picked off one by one by a giant guy wielding an ice pick. So it's kind of like, it's like Ice Jason in a Frost Village. Yeah, it has all, all the standard moments you think in a slasher film. You know, it's got the, it's got the, the female character who's the transition of being entirely weak to being the person who is going to be your, your sole survivor. It's not like I'm spoiling anything. You've seen a slasher film, they're pretty much always the same. There's almost always a female survivor. And this one, the same thing as well. Yeah, it's done pretty well. The, the acting is done well. When someone watches somebody die, and actually actually appear to be impacted by it, like, oh no, uh, there's an actual level of terror and fear in their eyes when these moments occur. And that's what makes this film actually surprisingly worth watching. 